See the stumbling blocks as you slipped on cracks It's commandment plus So we need to stay on track Young heart as I have sat mercy Put it on my back Wrong body but you have a shy No so we can't move slack Shalom, shalom, shalom. Yeah, man, we're there up on the ground, man. Right? Taza, why you read? Shalom, shalom. Yeah, man, we're there up on the ground, man. And yo, when we come out here to bring out the word of the Heavenly Father, we do it in truth and sincerity. And we're not back, right? Come for the light, team. Right? We're not back. Because, yo, no, shut up. Um, where? We don't hold back, man, because, yo, we only do a one way. And the only way we do is to serve your boy, Shimei That's right. In truth and sincerity. Mm -hmm. Right? Mighty teaching, my brother. Right? We out there with Vina Israel. And you know, rock of your house, Shai, rock of the truth. We there up on the ground, man. And when we come on the ground, we bring out the word of the Heavenly Father, because we are the angel of the Lord. That's right. Right? We are the one where they are on the ground. We don't live up in our here with the Abba and Shimei and Shai them. Right? We are the one who stay up on the ground and bring forth this message. Whether you're here or whether you're from here. Come. Right? And before further ado, let me glorify the Father. How so? Prophet Yahweh, Prophet Yahweh Shai. Prophet Yahweh, Prophet Yahweh Shai. I am my Lord. Shalom. Go on, Shalom. Go on, Yeah, man. We have to always give thanks unto the Heavenly Father. Because, yo, this knowledge where him give us, yo, it's him give us this knowledge. Me never go to school and learn nothing from the Bible. Plus, me never go to church and learn nothing from the Bible. Yeah. When me go to church, all me do a sing and dance, right? And come out and I learn nothing, right? So, yo, before further ado, we have something. Well, on. Let me bring out, um, give me the book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, and start at 5. Right? Bring it up! Jeremiah, chapter 1, verse 5. And I'm going to give me the book of um, Isaiah, chapter 44, verse 1. Read that. This is Jeremiah, chapter 1, verse 5. Uh -huh. Before I formed thee in the belly, uh -huh. I knew thee. Remember what the Lord said? Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. The Lord said before him farm, none of these brothers out here, or these sisters out here, in the belly, him know us. Because what? Him know us from we now back, our father. Before we even go into the home. Read. And before thou comest forth, uh -huh. out of the womb, uh -huh. I sanctify thee. Hey, what? I, I sanctified, sanctified thee, thee. Uh -huh. and I adorn thee a prophet unto the nations. And you see, the Lord said, He adorned us a servant unto the nation. Because we don't call myself prophet. We are servant, I Lord. Mm. Right? Anytime the Lord give us a charge, we go do it. And we go do it with might, like I last day of my life. Right? I'm not coming out here to hold back and talk about, I don't want Patrick to see me, and I don't want Susie to see me. To hell with them, That's right. right? Everyone go and see me, cause I go and shout, point up on my voice, right? Mm. Me the whole back. Give me Isaiah now. Isaiah, father four. Father four, verse one. Isaiah, father four, verse one. This is the book of Isaiah, forty-four, verse one. Bring it out. Yet now, hear, O Jacob, uh -huh. my servant, uh -huh. and Israel, whom I, whom I have chosen. The Lord said, Hear, no Jacob, my servant. I am a servant. I Lord. And the Lord chose us out here to come and bring out his word. Because what? The Lord said, who's going to rise up for me against the evildoers? I mean, I see nobody arise up for the Lord. How do I see people are doing them who and will? Right? But the heavenly... Well, give me Psalms 94. Psalms 94 and 16. We stay away there. Psalms 94 verse 16. You have it? Psalms 94 verse 16. Psalms 94 and verse 16. Bring it up. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? What did that say? Who, Who will, will rise, rise up for me against, against the evildoers? Come out here, man, and rise up. Right? Against these evil people, man. Because, yo, if you're not doing the work of the Heavenly Father, yo, we are going to class you as evildoers, man. 
right? You have to take heed and come back to the Heavenly Father. We have life, man. We are rise up against all of the workers of iniquity, man. That's right. right? Read our King. Oh, who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? What did Lord say? Oh, oh who, who will stand, stand up for me against, against the workers of iniquity? iniquity? And right now, all of these nations, them have a people in a dust hot state of mind. Because what? Them have all kind of iniquity upon them, man. That's right. right? Them have a people in a trap. But here, one of them, we are telling people, them say, yo, who the better on the trap on you know? What do you want to relax on the trap? We don't have to wake up and come out on a dead state of mind. Because yo, we are the best people where the Lord make on the ground. That's so what? Right. If we don't you know, walk up and down in you know, them trap, a time for we get wise. A time for we come out here from the oppressor we are man. Right? The heavenly father give with knowledge to wake up on And we don't want to keep on sleeping. Yo, we don't depend that to the name now. Right? That's it on that as Read on King. Thus saith the Lord that made thee and formed thee from the womb, which helped thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant. And so the Lord said, we're not a fear, man. Yes, right. So when we come out here, we're not a fear, man. That's That's right. Right. We come out here, we stand up bull to the heavenly Father, man. That's right. That's right. We're not responsive. Hey, give me the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, and start at uh, verse, verse uh, 4. Yeah, Hebrews 12, verse 4. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, and verse 4. Yeah. He has not. He have not yet resisted unto the blood. Strive it. Salakia. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, and verse 6. For whom the Lord loveth, he chastiseth. And what say? Hebrews 12 and 6. Salakia. Yeah. Mm. 13 and 6. Salakia King. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, and verse 6. And it reads, So that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear. What man shall do unto me? That's yes, right. so we come to serve the Lord. We come out of bowl, man. We come out of tell everyone say, is you gonna get down or gonna lay down. Right. right? Mm. And you say if we do not get with it, the heavenly father got chase you out at all. He might go send the enemy to clap you know. That's right. right. And we say, when we say clap, me I mean clap the man together. Take all the life from the man. Right? right? right. Where you have king? Jeremiah 3 and 14. Bring it up. Turn up back. Children, save the Lord, for I am married unto you. The Lord married unto us, man, and that's why I mean at the wedding, right? Well, ready. Me not steer on the back, me stay up front and come to the wedding. I make the Lord look down and sit me up on the front and make sure, some boy, everything the frankincense and me over, you know, leg all over the place, me and he nail it. Me see all the political people are past. Them show up them nose yeah. because them can't take it. Right? right? Because this a burn them out. This a purge them, man. Purge. Them need purge it, man. <laughs> right? That's it, Anna King. Read Ray of King. This is the book of Psalms 118 and verse 6. Yahweh is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? What the Lord say? What, what can, can man, man do, do unto, unto me? me? The Lord is on our side. And that's why brother come up. And brother, come out here. Look at us. We are rising up for the heavenly Father, man. We see the sun rise a morning time. We rise up early for the heavenly Father, man. Yeah. So come out here and do his work, man. Because, yo, it is what? This is our duty. And the duty where we get for do. This duty where we get is a hard duty, you know. For bring back the children of Israel. Because the children of Israel get comfortable yes. in our polluted land. The children of Israel get so hard-headed even when you talk to them and show them the truth they can't understand it man right because what some of them get so weak and feeble you try to bring good news to them and them things are madness you talk to them mm. because what the witchcraft will perpetrate upon them in a this place make them get so dust out the big this is some big man over six feet and counting soft and feminine right <laughs> You yeah, talk to them, them and say you yeah, hurt them feeling. I want to tell me tell some man saying, yo, we are man. And if we are man, born in this place. When a brother says certain things to you, not fool up like love letter, man. I want to like some people hurt your feelings. You're supposed to stand up like a man. And say, well, well, I saw you say no. So, all right, cool. All right. Right? Yeah, go on and like, say, oh, why are you talking to me like that? Listen, man, you have to move up on the beach shelf. Right? We don't have to stand up, man, on the barn with two balls, man. 
Work with the bonds of the Lord, dear man. Right? Go over there, go over there. This is the book of Isaiah 46, verse 12. Bring it out. Hearken unto me, he is stone hearted. What did that say? Hearken unto me, he is stone hearted. That are far from righteousness. You see that? We people them too far away from righteousness. And are hearken unto the heavenly Father, man. When do they hear good news? Don't walk away and leave it. Stand up and receive it, man. The brother talk to your counselor. Yo, you have a mouth, you can't talk back. Let us reason like men. Let us reason like women. Stop going like say I want to shiver shiver. Man, we can't stand up and hold a good reasoning, man. Stop going like you can't hold reasoning, sister. Stand up and talk, man. Because what? If something not going the way you want it to go, reason it out, man. Right? Don't fool up, man. Read me after that. So lucky. Jeremiah 2 and 33. Why trimmest thou thy ways to seek love? I mean, what's not trim my way to seek no love? Come on. Right? Because what? Why should I do that, man? I never yet throw my sister and I need the bus. I never will throw my brother and I need the bus. Even though I learn how to do it in this society. That's all we learn to fight against each other. But now the Lord give me knowledge. Me have convey the good knowledge unto my brothers and sisters and That's tell them, right. say, listen, the oppressor set up a thing. Right now, them have one word. Me can't even call it. When I call it, me so so not. Them say you hate to man. When I call it, so judging. So judging. Me say me can't even call the word. Right? I mean, I wonder how I really have one. Right? We, yo, we love a woman. Right? Right now, I tell children me get. Right? Say me never love my woman. How me could I get ten children? You tell me. Right? But when we talk and tell them, you know, good things, and talk to them stern, them say you don't like a man, man. But we love a woman, man. Right? And we are going to keep on talk to them rough and rugged. Because them want to tell we say, when we talk hard to we lady them, it's abusive. Abusive what? You know what abusive? The way we not trip them mm. and not carry them down to the graveyard. Mm. That's what abusive, right? We come to tell them truth. And we come to tell them, say, listen, subdue all the way you've been learned in this place. Because everything where you learn in this place is garbage. Done. Right? Because this place is a garbage town. Right? Most of your past the place, the place dirty and smell like some of them. Right? Just the king. Over there, over there. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 27, verse 5. Yeah. Open rebuke is better than secret love. You see that? Open rebuke is better than secret love. Because if me tell you something in secret, right? It come like something I love you. Mm -hmm. So when me tell you something openly, I say, sister, you know, son, I say it for God. Brother, you know, son, I say it for God. An open rebuke. We can discuss, right? You know, just bend up in yourself and gone and I look by me sideways and I go and ask some why me have done something wrong. Mm. No man, me could live in love. Self live in grudge. Because of that gonna learn, boy. Yeah. Everything gonna learn of it tear on each other. And look upon each other and disrespect each other. Right? And look upon each other and bring all kind of news behind each other back. We have to load them life, the man. Leave those life to the oppressor. Right. right? Now the oppressor make we know a turn against the woman that turned against us, the man. Right? Because what? If want you start crying for the woman, them. Every mm. minute, me and the matter about say, woman rights, woman rights. If want a man when we see her dead, and nobody knock out the man rights. Right. Everybody, mm. woman rights, woman rights. No woman not dead. Eh? I don't see more than dead off. And nobody now come up for the man rights. Mm. Right? For sure, say, the oppressor child me could have taken the eyes of him. When I him had nothing but the wicked walking the earth and I come up with all kind of, you know, Can. wickedness. Where is that? Read there, okay. This is First Peter 3, verse 7. Uh -huh. Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge. What's that? Dwell, dwell with, with them according, according to, to knowledge. knowledge. So when we get to our wife, man, we have to deal with them according to knowledge, Can. according to the scripture. Can. Right? Because when they read the scripture, the scripture tells us, uh, unto the woman, she shall be her child in her pain. Right? And your conception to be to her, to your husband. Mm -hmm. So your husband for there and tell your things. And you have it, man. Right. right? Don't go like say to hug the east and gas you up and tell you say you have woman rights. 
The Lord are the one that give us the talk. That's right. That ugly oppressor, the ugly oppressor is here to press you down. And we have no understanding what he set up and all about. Good ranking. Giving honor unto the wife. Uh -huh. Unto the weaker vessel. Right. Because why? The wife, the weaker vessel. If me disrespect my wife, me disrespect myself. That's right. Because she's part of me. That's right. Right? So when me attack to her, me assure her love. Tough love. Right? Because this place is so no. Self love. For everybody tell us that, oh, leave him alone now. Go take up an ex. He might get slack here. He might get ex. Go take up an ex. You know? So the one decapping. I know so you forgot. Who mm -hmm. can hop and skip all over the place, man? Daughter of Zion, your body is secret. Right? right? All the time, your man pass and gone. You don't know, say so you're a widow. No. You ain't really fear another brother, right? You know, the brother go and walk and talk about you have one ex of a Brixton, you have one round of Peckham, no, you have one of Dalich. He's nothing but a hood lamp. Don't pack up hood by your man, right? What would I have something more? Read on. Air is together of grace of life uh -huh. that your prayers be not hindered, right? So we know why we pray are hindered. Right. So we are make sure say, we deal with our wife. As God in, as the Lord said, we should deal with that. Give me the book of Genesis chapter 3 verse 16. Right. Bring it up. Genesis chapter 3 verse 16. Genesis chapter 3 and verse 16. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children and thy desire shall be to thy husband. So yes, when your husband talk to your daughter Zion, don't front, man. Just want it. And yo, the Lord love a humble soul. You see, when your spirit humble, the Lord will work with you, man. But you see, when you're disobedient, the Lord not deal with you, man. Because no one feel like so now get blessing. I don't know, say so the devil get blessing, too. You don't get to the local happening, so you don't feel like so the Lord will work with you, know. But the Lord chose the delusion. Right? Because when he tell you, who you feel act and how you feel carry yourself, you never bring it out. As to tell her to do it, you do it after your feeling. So you do it after your feeling, here comes the son of perdition. We are come teach you. We are bring up this. This is 1 Corinthians 11 verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Uh -huh. And the head of every woman is man. Wait, sir. And, and the, the head, head of, of every, every woman, woman is man. man. So see the sister, we're not beat down the body, man. No. And we are the head, man. Yeah. And we are showing the love, man. Yeah. Mm. So yo, take it. With a good grain of salt. That's right. You understand? I know, say, boy, yo, what them teach you, you subdue all what them teach you. Give me that. In the book of Second Ezra, chapter um, 14, verse 34. Come on, come on, bring that. Right. Second Ezra. 14, Second Ezra's. 14, 34. 14. 14. Yeah. Second Ezra's. 14 and 34. Bring it up. Therefore, if so be. That you will subdue your own understanding and reform your hearts, ye shall be kept alive. So you see, you have to read, we have to do it. Forget what them taught you. Reform your mind. The Lord will keep you alive, man. That's it on that cut. That's it. The Lord will keep you alive. And the Lord will show mercy unto you. Because what? You listen and do it. You understand? Yo, it's imperative for we listen to the Heavenly Father words. But it right unto us, man. These things was written for our learning. Right? Give me the book of um, Isaiah, chapter 5. Isaiah, um, Isaiah, chapter um, 49, verse 1. Yeah, Isaiah 49, verse 1. Isaiah 49, and verse 1. Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 1. Bring it up. Listen, O Isaac, unto me. And hearken, ye people from far. You see that? Where they are Timbuktu, where they are Haiti, where they are Jamaica, anywhere they in the world, four corners of the earth, the Lord has said, listen to him. All from far, man. Right? No one I say no one listen to the Lord, you know. Because, yo, the Lord not afraid to jack up none of it. Right? Because some of people, them, the Lord jack them up. Some of them look like a chapter wheel. Right? We say them overweight, them can't manage themselves. That's right. The Lord not play with them, man. And some of them look anorexic. 
right? Now look like something ready, look like a yam stick. Ready for put now and feel, make look a yam fine. R run round it. Read on. The Lord of called me from the womb, from the bowels of my mother. You see that? he made mention on, of my name. The Lord called us from the womb, from a mother, man. And that's why, yo, when I see these good children are come, man, they look for the heavenly father have a way where he might go bring them. Mm. Not all of them. Some of them going down to destruction road. Reality, reality. And the Lord need them anyway. Because whether you live good, you live off the Lord. And whether you live bad, you live off the Lord. Can. Because the Lord are the author of all things. Can. Right? Read on, King. And he hath made my mouth like a sharp sword. What the Lord say? And he hath made my mouth like a sharp sword. So when you hear me out here talk, man, and the Lord make him out. Right? Give me that in the book of um, Exodus chapter 4 and start at verse 10. Right? And the Lord make him out, man. You check so we come out here yeah, and just go like say, so. Oh, we want to say anything we feel like say. So. Exactly. Listen what the Lord say. Read that. Bring it up. Exodus. And verse 10. Bring it up. And Moses said unto the Lord, O oh my Lord, I am not eloquent, neither herefore, nor since thou hast spoken unto thy servant, but I am slow of speech. Now Moses are telling the Lord, tell Lord, you know, me can't bring the people in because I'm not eloquent in speech, you know, Lord. But you are Lord. Read on. But I am slow in speech and of a slow tongue. And the Lord said unto him, Who hath made man's mouth? What the Lord say? Who, Who hath made, made man's mouth? mouth? And that's why the Lord said, Make our mouth like a sharp sword, man. That's right. So when we are bring out this word, man, it a cut to the man. It a slice and dice to the man. Right? Because what? Uh, yes. And the heavenly father movements this. This is not Yashaya movement. No, this no, is not Baniamian no, movement. No, no, this no. is not Tazakwa movement. No, no. This is not Yaikwa movement. No, no, this no. is not Yamadakai movement. No. This is Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh movement. Isaiah right. four. Isaiah right. right. chapter four, verse thirteen. Mm -hmm. They sacrificed uh, upon the tops of the mountains uh -huh. and burned incense upon the hills, right. under the oaks and and poplars and elms, because the shadow thereof is good. Therefore, your daughters shall commit Odom, and your spouses shall commit adultery. You see that right now, man. Where people them gone in our different world. They are commit all kind of wickedness. Right? The, eh, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 23, verse 17 says, There shall be no war of the daughter of Zion, man. Right? Now a Salamite of the son of Zion, man. But where them people are teaching people to turn where the Lord now and them to turn. So they are going to contrary to what the precept reading, man. Right? That's it under. Read way up. Second Ezra 8 and verse 3. There be many created, but few shall be saved. The Lord said, create many people, but a few are going to see them, man. Because what? No for no, take the wrong road. The Lord said, there should be no war of the daughter of Zion. Everybody coming out here, pushing out them body, pushing out them breasts, pushing out them tongue. Them turn war. That's right. And the sons of Zion coming out here, Acting like a big city, right? The Lord said, "No, no, 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 for them, boy, right?" Read on, King. More on that man. Yeah, man. More on that man. We read on the third day. We go to that. This is the book of Amos, chapter nine and verse ten. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Read that again. All, All the, the sinners, sinners of my people shall die by the sword. And listen. Now, but I feel like so when you talk about all the people, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. No, but I feel like say I want sword to come snatch you. I want knife to come joke you. One bus, you cannot cross the road and a bus run over you. Yeah, yeah. I land sword. Right? You cannot pass anywhere and something drop down and crush you. Mm -hmm. I land sword. Mm -hmm. Everything will kill people at the Lord sword. God. You know what this is the book of John. Chapter 7 and verse 15. Yeah. And the Jews marvel, saying, How knoweth this man's letters, having never learned? Yahweh Shai answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but he that sent me. You see that? The doctrine, what we are bringing out right now. This is sound doctrine. Sound doctrine is the truth. And this doctrine is none of us. God. It's for Yahweh. 
that right. send a Mashiach, that's Yahweh Shalman, that's right. right? So we gonna be obedient unto the Heavenly Father, right? Right. Um, what we just tell us, sir? You say you have something? Bring them to you. The book of Psalms, chapter 111 and verse 10. Yeah. The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom. Right. Mm -hmm. A good understanding have they that do all his commandments. Mm. His, praises are for, his praises are forever. That's right. right. You see? You have to fear the heavenly father. And oh, you fear the heavenly father. You have to read his words. And get out! Right. And when you read his words, that's how you find out how to serve the heavenly father, man. The scripture said, the fear of the Lord is the, the beginning, beginning of, of wisdom. A good understanding is all those that do, do his, commandment. his commandment, man. Right. Doing is an action word. We have to do what? Do action for the Lord. We can't walk out there and make the Christian church cast you up on top, but we see him. See him from what? Eh? What we see him from? The only time we see him, he that endure to the end, man, shall be saved, man. Read what you have This is Proverbs 3, verse 4. So thou shalt find favor and good understanding in the sight of God right. and man. Verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and learn not unto thine own understanding. So we now go lean for our own understanding, man. Right. Because what? The heavenly father said, trust in him. And we go trust in him. And how we trust in him? Trust in our way and say. Nobody go on like say you're going to lean upon where you feel. Mm. And your own understanding. Mm. Your bone for go off. You're bound to carry yourself in a derogative way, man. Yes, Away from the Lord. Bring out your precept. The book of Proverbs. Second Ezra 7 and 56. For, for while we live and commit iniquity, we consider that not we should begin to suffer for it after death. You see, while we live, we feel like say, we are going to keep on doing iniquity. Keep on keeping sin unto the heavenly father and you know some boy you're gonna get judgment that come upon you the lord said in the book of Peru, chapter 12 verse 10 he that sin wrong it his own life oh. so yo from we start sin the heavenly father ready for jack me up man brother come in man we have some precept here you you all right you are more all right like you know tell me you all right <laughs> yeah, yeah. Huh? say that again you know that? Brother, you hear me? You are Israelite. We have to, you know, subdue what we are learning at this place and come back to the Heavenly Father. You are a mighty man walking the earth. But you see, true, we don't get the understanding, my brother. We are God's chosen people. The Bible was written for us. This is our history book. Nobody tell us you are a black man. You are an Israelite, my brother. The greatest man. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Listen to this, my brother. Right? Because we have to get into this word today. This is the book we have of Deuteronomy. Chapter 7, verse 6. For thou, for thou art a holy, holy people. people. For, for, for thou, thou art a holy people. people. Unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people upon unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. This dedicated to you. You understand? So if you walk in the road and feel like say, you are nothing, the Lord said, you are above all people that are up on the face of the earth. But they never teach us these things. Because these things will lift you up and carry them down. So they want to make sure say, you pass these things and do not know say, this pertaining unto you. But my brother, may I tell you this right now. The Lord said this. Deuteronomy 11 verse 26. The Lord said this to us. Now we are Israelites. Come. This is, this is Deuteronomy 11, verse 26. Behold, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse. A blessing if ye obey the commandments of the Lord your God. Now, when it's a blessing, if you obey the commandment of your God, not everybody God, processive pronouns, your God, right? So if we obey what the Heavenly Father said, we are going to get blessing. Look around. Our community look like it blessed? Uh -uh. Is it look like it blessed, my brother? No, we, we look blessed, is it? Oh, we look blessed, sir. Okay. <laughs> right. Lord willing, we stay blessed. But here we are no king. We not going to just talk about ourselves. 
Give me the book of Jude, chapter 1, and start at 22. This is where we are set here, my brother. Because we out here, we don't think about ourselves. We think about our nation. Right? Read Jude 1, 22. Jude 1, and verse 22. And of some have comp compassion, making a difference, and others save with fear. So we have compassion for our people. And we are seeing them from fear. Because we are read. Pulling them out of the fire. Brother, who not roast in a fire and we not see it. It's a spiritual thing that go on, King. Right. right? Our people, them, them have this dust out state of mind. So them now look on things spiritual. All of them are look on things literal. Right? So, them lose them wheel. You have something? Read here. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 1. Gather yourselves together. Yeah. Gather yourselves together, oh nation, not desire. You see that? The Lord has tell us to gather ourselves together because we are the nation, not desire. The reason why we don't desire because we are looked for each other as black man, black woman. Black is not a, black is an evil terms. Black is evil. Look by your skin, my brother. You're black. Look by your jacket. That black. Right? When you look by your complexion, your complexion is not like that. So why them want with a sign up, you know, job application and put up black? Because them want you to do it. Don't grade yourself. Right? So we have to rise up and oh, we are going to rise up, Virgin. Mm. Let me show you how we rise up. Right? Bring on. This is the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 2, verse 4. Look, Salakia, 20, verse 4. And Judah gather themselves together to ask help of the Lord. Even out of the cities of Judah, they come to seek the Lord. So right now, you would have been from the tribe of Judah, right? Because you have Judah and you have Israel, right? Now you have the southern tribe and the northern tribe. Where your background from, King? Where your father come from? Jamaica. Right, so that simple meaning that be a Benjamite. I'm a Benjamite, right? So basically, you being a Benjamite, we are the southern tribe. So we the class as Judah, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, right. right? So basically, when me a try to show you, go back to Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight, and start at sixty-eight. We are gonna show you how we got Jamaica king, right? Read that. Deuteronomy twenty-eight and verse sixty-eight. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Now, how did we go to Jamaica? What transportation? What the book said? With ship. Now Egypt, what were we doing in Egypt? Underneath Pharaoh. Give me Exodus 20 and verse 2. Verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So what represent what other word for bandage? Slavery. That's, That's right. right. You know, say he's an intelligent brother. You understand? The brain of work. You understand? So, read on 20 and 16. And the Lord shall bring thee to Egypt again, which is by the way whereof I spoke unto thee, thou, thou shalt see it no more, more again. again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. When well, we come out for this ship, what I'm doing? That big buck, 350, soul, that bed wench. It was we and the sister being sold. So, who the book of that book? It's a talk about us, the That's Israelite, right. not the Jamaican. Right. It's a talk about the Benjamin, the Judah, the Levi, Natali, Issachar. God. So we are the 12th tribe of Israel. Right? God. Carry on, King. And then thou shalt be sold unto your enemies for born men and born women, and no man shall buy you. And when it says no man shall buy you, that means no man shall redeem us. Because we were sold. Right? So if we were sold right there, basically, who buy us? Who didn't like us? So what them name in this society? You don't know? Look around, man. They're walking about, man. These are their children. That's right. You understand? So we never fear to call it out, man. We call a spear a spear, my brother. You understand? Take care of yourself, my brother. I hope you get into that and get some more understanding. Yes, sir. Shallow one. Please be a fire.
Yeah, man. Yeah, man, we're there for we a couple people, man. Because, yo, if we don't come out here, come do it, we're going to do it, man. And this is a good job to do, man. Right? right. Now, um, read on where you're there, give, give me the book of, um, you have something? Give me the book of, um, 2 Ezra chapter 8. And start at, um, yeah, bring out the priest. This is the book of Proverbs 10, verse 27. The fear of the Lord for a long days, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. Wow. Read that again, King. Proverbs 10, verse 27. The fear of the Lord prolongeth prolong days. You see that? A fear of your how about shimmy and shine. Prolong it days, man. You get long life, man. When you fear the heavenly father, man. Right? Read. But the years of the wicked shall be shortened. The years of the wicked shall be shortened, man. And yo, don't get it miscombobulated neither. Because yo, sometimes the heavenly father take with when I'm soldier at a young stage. Because the heavenly father do him please. Right? Earlier and I was talking to a sister and she said, why the Lord make everybody and then choose when one set of people. I said, listen man, you better you shut down, you know, because you can't compare yourself to the Lord. Because you're looking brain where you have, you know, walk like how the Lord brain work. Right? So you supposed to be happy to know that you're an Israelite. And she she take heed. Right? Over there, over there. Read on your more brother. Eight and four. Second Ezra, eight and verse four. Bring it up. So answered I and said, Swallow then down, O my soul, understanding and devour wisdom. You see? We are swallowed down understanding, man. And make sure say yo, we are getting wisdom. Because what? We want more knowledge, man. That's right. So we're going to keep on study to make ourselves approved. Right. Read on, King. For thou has agreed to give ear and are willing to prophesy. You see that? We're willing to give ear unto the Heavenly Father. And willing to come out here and bring out His word. Because what? The word of the Heavenly Father is fire. Right? And we come to burn up people because the mother of hood, hockey tree. Morgany Hood, right? We are burning with the word I love. Right. Right. For there was no longer space than only to live. Mm -hmm. O Lord, if thou suffer not thy servant, that we may pray before thee. You see that? We have to keep on praying unto the Heavenly Father. Read on, King. And thou give us seed unto our heart. You see that? All of these seed. And the heavenly father bring them here mm, because what mm. all of these seed was planned to serve the lord that's right right the lord said Ezra said give us seed unto our heart them have mind like we and that's why we gather together Can. in righteousness bring out the word of the lord with Can. passion that's with right. might right read on and culture to our understanding and this is our culture man that's we right. are children of israel man that's right this is our knowledge. This is our way of life. Nobody can take it off with again. Teach they king. They give a nationality, but we take it back. That's Teach right. king. Right? Read on. That there may come fruit of mm -hmm. it. That there may come fruit of it. Look about fruit. There. The Lord will bring forth fruit. Right. You check some jackfruit and fruit. orange and all kind of different fruit. We grow up on uh -huh. tree. Them fruit are special. Right. And them rare. Right? Them fruit is not the core of them. When you see a walk around, the garbage them. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. them fruit are different. Mm -hmm. Right? Well stuck and, you know, clean and good up, good up. Read that, wait there. How shall each man live that is corrupt? What's that? How that shall each man, man live that, that is corrupt? Read that. Who beareth the place of a man? Uh -huh. For thou art alone, and we all one. Workmanship. You see, thou are alone. You are by shimmy or shy. Right? And we are what? It's workmanship. Can. We pick out the work of the Lord. Everything when on the earth. The Lord make them man. And he make them for his pleasure. So if the Lord make Mohab and say, You Mohab, you must wash the pot. And if he make Esau and say, lick him with my shoes. <laughs> me lick him with my shoes, man. That's right. Because that's why the Lord make him, man. That's right. right. And if the Lord make Mr. Um, what, what name? Jackie Chan. For come around here. And do what he do. 
we have a ship can do? If I feed us talk where the heavenly father are the enemy for them. He make harm and say, harm is curse. Harm is a curse, man. It may look like me, but it's not of the same, you know, mm. stack of me. Mm -hmm. No. Nah. The last time I check, I see harm. He go to a hole. And I, you know, say I make love with the ground. And I ejaculate, say I go get increased. Them curse, right? It's not like that I go do that. Uh -uh. Because we are moral. Uh -uh. Right? We don't lower moral. No, we are high morality, man. Yes, right. Over there, over there, read that. And we all want workmanship of thine hands. Uh -huh. Like as thou has said. Uh -huh. For when the body is fashioned now in the mother's womb. Better. For when, when the, the body, body is fashioned, fashioned now in the mother's womb. Read that. And thou givest it members. Mm -hmm. Thy creatures is preserved in fire and water. Hey, sister, sister, come here. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes at your time. Come here, sister. Two minutes. Right, when we see my sister, we know the minute. You understand? Where you from? Where you going from, sister? Nigeria. Are you about? No, see? We know your man. Come close to the man. Now you're scared of me. You see what you're All praises. All it praises. Says, when they, read that again, King. This is what the Lord said about our people, how we come into existence. Read. For when the for when the body is fashioned now in the mother's womb, uh -huh. and thou givest it members, uh -huh. thy creatures is preserved in fire and water. Do you know what's a fire in your belly? You hear the book say? Thy creature is preserved fire and water. Right? Because you see, more time you have like a um premature child we well, yesterday put him now an incubator and you know so the incubator a beer heat in there mm -hmm. when me find out me say but me rotted me think my boy a burn right but you are the heat preserve him because him already come out of the water right but anyway sister we there for sure you said you ever hear about the hebrew israelite hebrew, hebrew israelite now the hebrew israelite these are god chosen people and God have a chosen set of people on the earth who is walking up and down who do not know themselves. Right. right? So we come out here for show sure, our people mm. that all the Hebrew Israelites, this word are to them. Give me the book of Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 5. Right. Isaiah 49, verse 5. And give me the doctor. This is Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 49 and verse 5. Bring it out. And now saith the Lord. That formed me from the womb to be his servant, uh -huh. to bring Jacob again to him. To bring Jacob again to him, because Jacob is the progenitor of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel, right? And you are one. You come from one of the tribes. Saying me come from one of the tribes as well. Right. So the Lord has said we're supposed to bring Jacob again to him. Read. Though Israel be not gathered, to the whole Israel not gather yet. Read. Yet shall I be glorious in the eyes of the lord so what we are doing we are doing this for the heavenly father Can't. we are not doing it for ourselves Can't. this is not the christian church the christian church is nothing but i don't even they're nothing but a drugs house you understand and for them drugs of themselves you know you're not going you know see them with a country band but them have drugs as any people them which is a dust out state of mind mm. right your people them learn nothing in the but sing clap and dance have you ever heard the word holy? You know what holy mean? Holy, yeah. Just holy. So when you feel like holy, holy, that's holy. <laughs> I'm going to show you what's holy. Give me that. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. We are, we are, well, I'm going to read this verse. I'm going to say something to her. Deuteronomy 7, 7 and 6. Deuteronomy verse 7 and verse 6. Chapter 7. For thou art an holy people. Unto the Lord thy God. You see what holy mean? Holy people. Yeah, who are the holy people and what they're supposed to do? Read. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So that's what holy means. Set apart. Special. Above all people that are up on the face of the earth. You are in that holy line. When you're about to cook. You don't lick your ten fingers. Eh? Because she's a woman of a speciality. She's a royal lady. Give me that man. Royal. Right? 
the thing is this sister they might try to hide this rich period of knowledge from us mm. they spend billions of dollars to hide it away from us but you see from the street you walk and you go hear it For because free. what the heavenly father say it in a proverbs man yeah. read that first peter two and verse nine yeah. but ye are a chosen generation mm -hmm. a royal priesthood and holy nation a peculiar people that ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness mm -hmm. into his marvelous light that's right the Lord's a peculiar that's a fancy word the lord has said we are a special people right. unto him man you understand but every anyway the heavenly father will tell you where we can eat and where we not eat mm -hmm. leviticus chapter 11 verse 44 fact start at 46 read what you have to this is the book of Exodus 19 verse 5. Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me. So mm -hmm. God said, if we to have added us to do, we go be that special people unto him. But if we do not do it, we cannot be special unto him. Sister, uh -huh. you're not a black woman. I go and tell her who you are. Read that outside. Jeremiah. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 6, verse 2. I have likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and a delicate woman. woman. This is what the Lord called us. You, the daughter of Zion. Comely, you're delicate, you're beautiful, right? You need protection. And your protection should be from your husband. Are you married? Right. Are you a boyfriend? Okay, because the Lord not dealing with boyfriend, you know. The Lord dealing with husband and wife. That's right, you understand? Right. So at the end of the day, when you start having intercourse, that's how you're locked into marriage. Not what these people teach you, that you can have boyfriend and girlfriend. Right. Then they come and unwanted children. You understand? So when you locked in, you locked in because the Heavenly Father had in you to lock in. You understand? So this is our message unto you. Right. We are read that prayer. Leviticus 11 and 46. This is the law of the peace of the fowl. We must laugh with peace and fowl. Read. And of every living creature creature that moveth in the waters, and of every creature that creepeth upon the earth. So the Lord tell us that every creature in the water, like fishes, the heavenly father, this thing where you can't eat from, where you're not to eat. Read. To make a difference between the unclean and the clean. So did you know that you have unclean meat on the planet? So you understand uh, what is clean from unclean? Eh? To what extent? To what extent you understand it? Pork. What about pork? Give her a hand, man. That's good, sister. Because the pork is forbidden for us, the children of Israel. Do not touch that thing. Right? No, um, over there, over there. Read it. This is the book of Genesis. It's the book of Genesis, chapter 24, verse 67. And Isaiah brought her into his mother's into his mother Sarah's tent and took Rebecca, and she became his wife. So you understand? Read it again slowly for this is the book of Genesis, chapter 24, verse 67. And Isaac, and Isaac brought, Sarah, brought her into his mother's tent. Sarah, into so hold on, let me, let me oh, explain. Sorry. It said, Isaac brought Rebecca. Rebecca into his mother's tent. That means the mother's tent is a little house. So when he brought her in, read, and she became his wife. And then when he brought her in, he locked in with her. Then she become his wife. You understand? So that is it. Not when you go up on the, you know, pulpit and talk about pasta, put a ring pan and all them things. It doesn't work like that. When you bust that something open and you give it to him, you're locked into marriage. Mm -hmm. You and him become one. Mm -hmm. You understand? This is what the pastor should be teaching our people. But they're not doing it. Right. We're not collecting no money. Peter. We're doing this for free. Because right. the heavenly father said, right. freely and give us. Really shall we gain it? Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. So, what were they? What were they? You tell us all something. Yeah, read. Read the book of Leviticus, chapter 20 and verse 26. And he shall be holy unto me, mm -hmm. for I, I am the Lord, am holy, holy and have severed you from other people 
that ye should be mine. You huh. see that the Lord said him separate us from other people that we should be his. How special is that, sister? It is good, isn't it? But why them hide these things away from us? Because if they knew, if we knew what the book is talking about, we're gonna do what? Our day and us, we're gonna be, you know, doing what the Lord are doing us to do. But if we do not know what's in the book, we're gonna separate ourselves from it. And that's why the heavenly father said this. Isaiah 59 verse 1. Right. Start at 2. Isaiah 59 verse 2. This is why the heavenly father can't deal with us. Because this in our life. Isaiah 59 and verse 2. But your iniquities have separated between you and your power. Mm -hmm. so iniquity means sin. Right? Read. And your sins have hid his face from you. So when we sin, the Lord does so. You know the time for me. But them tell me in the church, say, the Lord loved the sin and he hates the sinners. Sin that. You see, that is madness. Love the sin and he, what? No, he hates the sin, love the sinners. Right. And this is what the heavenly father said, John 9, 31. Read it, read it out. This is the book of 1 John 3 verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. Huh? For, For sin, sin is the transgression of the law. law. You know what that means? Sin is when we break God's law. So the heavenly father said, give me Deuteronomy 22. Yeah, right. This is the book of John chapter 9 verse 31. Now we know that God hearkened not sinners. Now we know that God heareth not sinners, but if any man a worship any man be a worshipper of God, he and doeth his will, he heareth. You see that? If we do the will, if we do his commandment, and have faith in the heavenly father, when they pray, the heavenly father will listen to you. But if we're not doing it, it's going to be hindered. If not going to listen to it. You understand? So it's imperative for our take on what's been taught from the Bible. I will make sure so we can convey the message into our life of, to uh, change our ways and do the right thing. You have something? Read there. This is book of Hosea, chapter 5 and verse 15. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face in their affliction, they shall they will seek me early. So the Lord said, "I'm gonna go hide him face from us if we keep sitting and in our affliction. Right now, we get afflicted. Everybody beat us down, push us down. We are the last fire, first fire. Every time something happens bad to us, then we start seek the Lord, and then when we, we kind of get like a clear up again, we come back and do the same old foolishness, right? So that's why the heavenly Father said, "I'm gonna go." Take away himself until we acknowledge that we are sinning against him. So right now we acknowledge that we are sinning against the heavenly father. And we change our ways. And we start to keep his commandment. And come out here to try to wake up brothers and sisters. To make them hearken unto the word of the Lord. To come back unto the Lord as well. Because yo, the Lord is going to use us as a more peace. The Lord now come here himself. He go use men. Right? Read right after him. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 16 verse 2. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes. You see that? All the ways of a man or a woman are clean in their own eyes. Then feel like say, yeah, I am doing whatsoever I'm doing, and I'm doing it because I want to do it and I know how to do it. That's your own understanding. But when read, but the Lord weighs the spirits. But the Lord weighs the spirit. That means you say if you have a humble spirit, the Lord will work with you. He will give you inspiration and he will make you follow. His way, just by inspire you to make move. Because the precepts say, man going out the way of the Lord. Mm. How can a man understand his own way? Mm. Right? Woman going out the way of the Lord. How can a woman even understand her own way? The Lord do it. Make move. Play drop with us. Right? Read there. This is the book of Deuteronomy 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a, woman, a man put on a woman's garment. So, ah. sister, you understand that? That's a law. What the heavenly Father says right. about men and women. The front part I point at the woman, and the second part point at the man. So now, 
The Lord said a man, the Lord said a man should not put on a woman's woman garment. garment. So if you see me out here in a woman's garment, what would you think of me? I'm a folly man there. You just have a gun, innit? Right. So turn it around now. The woman in a man chose is what you should think of her. She cross dressing. She cross dressing. You understand? So you see, society bring down these things upon us for mm -hmm. us to lose our weight. Mm -hmm. Remember the Lord said, if you are sin, what am I going to do? Turn him face from you. And turn him back. So society want the children of Israel to keep sinning. So the Lord don't do it. Look at us. So they can continue to call us black man. Ghana. Nigeria. All kind of derogative terms. Not the daughters of Zion. Mm -hmm. Not the son of Zion. But when we come back unto the heavenly father and start to do his will. Then he's going to look upon us. Give me the book of um, 2 Ezra chapter 9 and start at 30. We're going to show you this to the Lord. Plant him seed in us. Right? And we have to continue with what the Lord said. Do turn on me. Chapter Slakia. 2 Ezra. 2 Ezra 9 and verse 30. And thou speakest saying, Hear me, O Israel, mm -hmm. and mark my words, mm -hmm. thou seed of Jacob. Remember. Jacob are the one, the progenitor of the 12 tribe of the children of Israel. So Jacob are your great, 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 great grandfather. Read. For behold, I saw my law in you. So it says, sow him law in us. So it's like you dig up the ground and you sow something in it. It have a growth. Right? Mm -hmm. So the Lord said, him sow him law in us. Just like when you say a woman is supposed to be able to pertain it unto men. In swim line are you. So you supposed to wear your skirt and look modest. Me supposed to come out here in my pants and look like a real soldier for the land. Read. And it shall bring fruit in you. So when it's a fruit in you, that simply means uh, the heavenly father said, we supposed to do what? We are going to have increase. Mm -hmm. Right? If we kept his way, we are going to have abundance of things. Read. And ye shall be honored in it forever. You see that? We have an honor in it forever. Now don't press. Honor. Read. But our fathers which received the law kept it not uh -huh. and observed not the ordinance. Uh -huh. And through the fruit and through the fruit of thy law did not perish. You see that? So the Lord Ashura said, Our forefather never kept it. But even though they never kept it. The law never perish. The law is still on. Read. Mm -hmm. Neither could it, uh -huh. for it was thine. It was ours to keep. Read. Yet they received it. Uh -huh. Yet they that received it perish. You see? Read. Because they kept not the things which were sown in them. Read on. And lo, it is a custom when the ground have received seed, or the sea a ship, or any vessel, meat or drink. Hold on. It says it's a custom when the ground receives seed, it always grows. When the sheep receives ship, the ship going out the sea, it then after a time, after a time it starts decaying and get rusty. And then what? Either it go back to the shipyard, repair and come back to the sea, or it becomes one of them all rusty ship and sink. Right? Read. Or any vessel, uh -huh. meat or drink, uh -huh. that that being perished, wherein it was sown or cast into that thing also which was sown or cast therein or received do perish and remaineth not with us but with us it have not happened so with us it is not happened so so our laws of the heavenly father gave unto us it still exists right now so that's why the Lord will make a pass right here, sister, because you're supposed to get this knowledge and understanding. And Lord willing, you can have, get more and more because the Heavenly Father said this. Give me Deuteronomy chapter um, 20. This is the book of Titus 2 verse 3. The aged woman likewise that they behave them, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not giving too much wine, teachers of good things. So the Lord has said, our ladies, not to become false accusers. You know, you're a pretty, you're a beautiful lady, right? And you know, sometimes you may walk with some friends, 
where they may, you know, not like how you look better than them. Right? And then they maybe start, you know, stifling your local way in life. I talk about she go on like she this and she go on like she that. Right? Them things that not happen amongst us, Data and Zion, and you lot. You're supposed to yell up each other, and you when one week, and you have more strength, you lift up the next one. You understand? But this society make our woman and them just fight against each other. If you come out here, you may be dressed in a certain way, and she may be can't dress the way you are dressed, they may like you for that simple thing. You understand? So these things we have to eradicate, right? And we have to do what? Read holiness. What will it mean again? Special and set apart. Read. Teachers of good things uh -huh. that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children. Right, so when people, especially the daughter of Zion, they must walk around and kick themselves drunk like the other nation. The other nation, the Lord now deal with them. The Lord now deal with his people. And that's why most of the time, when they look round, our people try to, you know, learn the ways of the Eden. And we're not supposed to do that. Do you know Christmas? Do you know it's in the Bible? 